Hello viewers, welcome back. Docker Compose. As part of this video, we are going to see what is Docker Compose and how we can leverage Docker Compose to run the Docker containers. Before getting into this video, let us know what is agenda for this particular session. And yeah, before getting to know Docker Compose, we should know what is Docker. Yeah, we are going to see that. And later, what, what is Docker Compose and why Docker Compose? What problem actually it solves? And we are also going to see how we can run the three different applications. One is a front-end application, the second one Spring Boot back-end application and Postgres SQL database application. So how we can leverage Docker Compose to run these three Docker containers at once. And also we are going to see how we can uh, write Docker Compose file and what are the steps that needs to be written uh, in Docker Compose YAML file. And also we will see how we can run the Docker Compose commands to deploy the applications. And finally, we'll come to know why Docker Compose is not good in some scenarios. So that is agenda for this video. If we'll, all these concepts are very interesting, please stay tuned until end of this video. Before getting into know what is Docker Compose, we should know what is Docker. So I just I want to give brief definition from Wikipedia. Docker Compose is a set of platform as a service product that uses OS level virtualization to deliver the software in packages called containers. It is the tool basically which can use to create, deploy and run applications by using containers. It packages all required libraries and artifacts and other configurations whatever it is so it contains all this information all these libraries as a one unit so that you don't need to have any dependency on you know on your system so you can run your docker images anywhere so that is the basic uh, goal of uh, docker at least once in your career you might have said or you might have heard from your colleague saying that hey this application is working in my machine. It is not working in production. Why? So basically Docker solves this issue by collecting all the dependencies, libraries and other artifacts and configurations all at in one container. So you don't need to have any dependency on your machine. So once you package all your requirements like uh, configurations, artifacts, libraries and the applications into one unit, and you can run this docker container anywhere so when docker solves the issue why docker compose why it came into picture why we need docker compose you might have heard about the most popular architecture pattern that is microservices each microservice is a small application which is implemented to do a specific job so these applications are put into docker containers and they can communicate each other via http or rest api now we have a problem here for example if we have three docker containers and it is easy for us to run each container using docker commands so if you see example as an e-commerce application the first application kind can be the front end application second can second one can be a payments application and third one can be a database or maybe orders application so if it, these three containers are just small part of entire system but if you see the very big application there are a lot of small microservices there might be many microservices how you are going to run each and every docker container use are you going to use docker commands for each and every so all the day will go for that just running docker commands how you are going to solve this that is where docker compose comes into the picture docker compose uses the docker compose.yaml file which will contain all the application details under the services part service is nothing but a details of each and every docker container or each and every application so we are basically composing all the docker container images into a single unit 
and we are going to run all docker containers at once using docker compose instead of running each and each and every individual docker container separately using docker commands we are going to see how the docker compose yaml file looks like in my machine i have a simple microservices application which is a scrum board application the scrum board application contains three microservices basically the scrum ui which is a front end application implemented using angular framework and the second one is scrum app which is a back end application implemented using spring boot uh, framework which is basically java application and third one we need a database so i am using postgresql uh, as a database this is another microservice so using docker compose i'm going to run all these three microservices at once and we are going to see how we can compose each and every docker container details in a docker compose yaml file so this is the docker compose yaml file that you are seeing here just make it as a presentation mode so that you can see a bit clear so basically docker compose file contains the first line as a version so i mentioned three yeah and if you want to know why the version is three or two just go through this documentation uh, the link has been given here in the top and the second one the important one is services so under the services we are going to define each and every docker container details or application details basically the name of application or image name and the container name the volumes because is the first one is a scrum postgres which is a database uh, microservices and volumes it is a database and we need a volume that should be mounted in the docker container so that is the detail here the name label is uh, scrum data and ports the default port for postgre is 5432 and environment basically environment contains the database name and the username finally the password so this must be this must be defined and these fields are mandatory to access any database as you know and the second one i'm going to have as a scrum app this is the backend application spring boot application the name is uh, scrum app container name also scrum app and basically it contains the environment details to access the postgre database and we need to give db server name postgre db database name user id and password and this application runs on 8080 as usual and links scrum postgres because this backend application uses the database the scrum postgres this is the name of the service name we have given here so this is how it links to the backend uh, to the database the environment variables defined here DB server, Postgres DB, Postgres user, and Postgres password. These variable names should match with the properties defined in the Scrum application application dot properties file. Otherwise, the backend application cannot communicate with the database and it cannot access the data. I'm going to show you that where it has been defined. So application dot properties file so these are the names that should match with the environment variables defined in the docker compose yaml file otherwise application cannot access the database so make sure that these variables should match with the properties defined in the spring boot properties and last one is scrum ui this is the front end application as i said it's an angular application Basically, it contains the front end uh, where user interacts with the application. And the container name is Scrum UI ports 4200 and volume Scrum data. So we have given Scrum data label here. So that is the name used here as part of volumes. So we need we should define volumes when we have database. So basically, this is a Docker Compose file. So very simple, right? So basically, Docker Compose uh, makes our life easier. To run multiple and hundreds of microservices easily just with one command so you have to define each and every service you have to define each and every docker container details as part of services so that docker compose knows that 
create the docker container is on what is the docker name is docker container name is an application name is and where it is running like uh, defining port numbers and all and environment details so this is very simple right definitely it is very advantageous because you cannot run uh, docker commands for each and every docker container or application when you have hundreds of microservices so because of microservices architecture pattern the docker compose came into picture and simplified to run the multiple and hundreds of microservices easily with one command that is docker compose up and to make it down docker compose down so these are the two main commands we are going to see how we can leverage a docker compose to run multiple microservices the source code of entire application has been given in the description section as part of a github link if you want to try this application and run you can use it so you can check the description for the github link you must install the docker on your laptop your laptop can be linux os or mac os or windows so there are different instructions has been given on docker site to install the docker compose or docker on your machine i will provide the links in the description section you can look at it and i already installed the docker in my machine uh, so that you can see that this logo that means docker is running now to know what are the what are all docker compose commands available you can check docker compose help so basically these are the very basic commands uh, which are use it to run the docker containers using docker compose the build config down down command is to make the application down and we are we we can use the start command or up command to start the docker containers and we are going to see how we can run the docker compose command to make all our three microservices up and running now we are going to run three docker containers using docker compose the first container is angular application the second one is spring boot backend application and third one is postgresql database to run the docker compose we have to use the terminal window so make sure that you are inside the base directory that is scrum boot here just make it clear once so basically we are going to run docker compose up. that's it so this command ensures that application runs all the three docker containers successfully runs so just docker compose up this is the only one command that we are uh, we used to run the three docker containers the three docker containers are one is front end application the second one is back end application which is a spring boot application third one is database now you can see actually i already run this docker compose once so usually it takes a minimum five to six minutes but second time i'm running so that's the reason it didn't take much time now the application is up and running and we can check uh, how it looks like localhost go to double zero see uh, this is the application scrum boards create scrum user story or maybe epic just uh, create and e-commerce app i don't know because it's not refreshing so i'm not going to fix it uh, because it, our goal is to how we can use the docker compose not the, to fix the front-end application or back-end application here we can create tasks implement front-end UI 
we can have the color as well save yeah i don't know some problem it's not refreshing implement order form implement So application is up and running and we are able to create the data and we can drag it so yeah and you can see that data is so storing and we have another user story this thing it means the backend application can communicate through database and it can access the data from database and it can show on front-end application so the three microservices are able to communicate with each other that's what we want to see now we have seen how we can leverage docker compose to run multiple microservices easily in efficient way so far everything is well and good with docker compose but there is a problem with docker compose what is that for example you needed to make a change in spring boot application so you have made change you have to apply this change into the spring boot application which is a backend application so what you are going to do so basically you have to stop the running applications you have to restart the application so that new changes will be applied so when you are using docker compose to stop the applications we are going to execute docker compose down so what will happen so all the three containers will come down so all the three applications will be stopped so but you have made change only in backend application which is a spring boot application so why you need to why you have to stop other two applications because of the change in one application it's a problem right so that's the problem with docker compose so what we can do for this how you can apply changes on each and individual application in an isolated way so what we can do is there any solution for this yes there is a solution that is kubernetes Using Kubernetes, you can deploy applications without dependency on other applications. So you can, eat, you can deploy applications, you can run applications individually. So if you want to make a change and if you want to restart an application, you can restart only that specific, specific application where the change is applied. You don't need to make it down other applications. You don't need to stop other applications to apply the change in one application. So that is where Kubernetes comes into picture. I have made several videos on Kubernetes. Please, please check my playlists under the DevOps. Let us uh, summarize what we have uh, seen on this video. So we came to know what is Docker and what is uh, Docker Compose. What problem Docker Compose solves actually. And we have seen how we can deploy three individual Docker containers using Docker Compose. And also we came to know what the problem actually with docker compose so that's it guys if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and as usual if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe it and if you like it please like it and don't forget to share with your friends thank you